Imagine a universe where the laws of physics as we understand them are not quite what they seem. Today, we're about to embark on a scientific journey that will challenge the very fabric of our reality. Welcome, curious minds, to a profound exploration. Was Einstein wrong? How we know general relativity isn't right? In the pantheon of scientific brilliance, Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity stands tall. But could it be that even this towering genius missed something in his equations? In this episode, we're peeling back the layers of space, time and reality itself, uncovering the tantalizing clues that hint at the possibility of a new paradigm. Before we dive into the depths of this cosmic mystery, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Prepare to have your perspective on the universe forever altered as we embark on a quest to challenge the foundations of our knowledge. Let's launch into the unknown. Today I'm here to unveil the profound revelation that challenges Einstein's foundational concept of gravity. Einstein, an unparalleled scientific visionary, introduced the idea that gravity isn't a force as we traditionally perceive it. Instead, it emerges as a consequence of the curvature of space and time. In Einstein's groundbreaking perspective, matter possesses the extraordinary ability to warp the very fabric of space-time in its proximity. This curvature, in turn, exerts a profound influence on the motion of matter itself. It's a dynamic interplay where space and time are not fixed, but incredibly responsive entities. According to Einstein's groundbreaking theory, aptly named general relativity, this responsiveness isn't limited to matter alone. It extends to all forms of energy, encompassing pressure, momentum flux, and more. In essence, general relativity represents an expansive evolution of Einstein's earlier work, special relativity, charting a path toward a deeper understanding of the fundamental forces that govern our universe. Both general relativity and special relativity are built on the principle of observer independence. This means that the rules governing the universe shouldn't change based on how fast someone is moving. The key difference between the two is how they describe space-time. In special relativity, space-time is portrayed as flat, much like a sheet of paper. However, general relativity takes a more dynamic approach, allowing space-time to curve, similar to a rubber sheet being stretched and bent. Remarkably, general relativity has withstood the test of time with overwhelming evidence supporting its accuracy. It predicts that light, for instance, should bend around massive objects, such as the sun. This phenomenon has been observed and confirmed. Additionally, the theory also anticipates cosmic phenomena like gravitational lensing, which we've directly witnessed. Moreover, general relativity correctly forecasts the expansion of the universe, aligning perfectly with our observations. It's truly a marvel of scientific achievement. It's truly remarkable how general relativity continues to stand the test of rigorous scientific scrutiny. For instance, it successfully predicts that time runs more slowly in areas with stronger gravitational forces, a phenomenon that has been proven accurate through experimentation. Moreover, this groundbreaking theory anticipates the existence of black holes and even precisely describes their telltale shadows, observations that align seamlessly with our findings. General relativity's foresight also extends to the realm of gravitational waves, an extraordinary prediction that has been confirmed through direct observations, further solidifying its credibility. The list of general relativity's successes goes on and on, leaving no room for doubt about its remarkable accuracy in explaining the universe's workings. Nevertheless, we must acknowledge that, while it excels in many situations, general relativity isn't the final word on the nature of space and time. It serves as a highly effective approximation for numerous scenarios, but falls short in others. Pointing the way to the need for further exploration and refinement in our quest for a more complete theory. The perplexing conundrum we face lies in the glaring incompatibility of general relativity with another rigorously validated theory, quantum mechanics. While it's a problem that's relatively straightforward to articulate, its resolution proves to be a Herculean task. To grasp the challenge at hand, let's delve into what happens when we attempt to reconcile gravity and quantum mechanics. Our experimental observations have unequivocally revealed the peculiar quantum nature of particles. 
These subatomic entities adhere to the enigmatic uncertainty principle and exhibit extraordinary behaviors, such as the capacity to exist in dual locations simultaneously. This discord between the two eminent theories, general relativity and quantum mechanics, presents a formidable obstacle in our pursuit of a unified understanding of the universe. It's akin to attempting to harmonize two contrasting symphonies, each brilliant in its own right, yet fundamentally incompatible when played together. Let's illustrate this perplexing issue with a tangible example. Consider an electron passing through a double slit. According to quantum mechanics, this tiny particle traverses both slits simultaneously, a notion that challenges our intuition. Now, electrons possess mass, and mass, as per Einstein's general relativity, induces a gravitational effect by curving space-time. This intriguingly raises a critical question. If the electron can be in two places at once, shouldn't its gravitational pull also extend to two locations simultaneously? However, herein lies the conundrum. General relativity and quantum mechanics, though both profoundly accurate, clash when trying to address this scenario. Because general relativity isn't inherently a quantum theory, resolving this intricate puzzle necessitates a deeper comprehension of the quantum properties of gravity. It calls for what physicists term a theory of quantum gravity, a framework that unifies these two realms of physics and paints a comprehensive picture of the cosmos. Einstein's profound insights into gravity, revealing it as the result of space and time's curvature, lead us to a critical realization. To truly understand the enigma of gravity, we require a theory that unravels the quantum properties inherent in space and time themselves. There are two other compelling reasons why general relativity falls short of being the ultimate answer. Beyond the conundrum posed by the double-slit scenario, we encounter another challenge. The existence of singularities within general relativity. Singularities are regions where both the curvature of space-time and the energy density of matter become infinitely vast. This is the prediction of general relativity. At least, in virtually every other scientific theory we possess, the emergence of singularities signifies a breakdown, demanding the replacement of the theory with a more comprehensive one. We believe that the same principle applies to general relativity, where quantum gravity emerges as the indispensable successor, a theory that can adeptly navigate the intricacies of singularities and provide a holistic understanding of the cosmos. The third compelling reason pushing us towards the quantization of gravity stems from the perplexing issue of information loss within black holes. When we attempt to merge quantum theory with general relativity, but without the crucial step of quantizing gravity, a peculiar phenomenon emerges. Black holes gradually shrink as they emit radiation. This groundbreaking revelation first unveiled by Stephen Hawking in the 1970s, is aptly named Hawking radiation. However, a profound problem arises in this scenario. While black holes can seemingly vanish entirely through the emission of this radiation, the radiation itself is entirely random, devoid of any discernible information. Consequently, when a black hole dissipates entirely, leaving behind only this formless radiation, the crucial question lingers. What originally constituted the black hole? This conundrum underscores the necessity of quantizing gravity to preserve the integrity of information within the fabric of our universe. This process is inherently irreversible, creating a stark incongruity with the principles of quantum theory. The quandary emerges from the irretrievable loss of information, a violation of one of quantum mechanics' core tenets. The preservation of information in any physical process, simply put, it just doesn't fit within the framework of quantum mechanics, leaving us with an enigmatic puzzle. To address this perplexing issue, many physicists contend that a theory of quantum gravity is indispensable. It's the bridge we need to span the gap between the quantum world and the gravitational realm, rectifying the incongruities that have perplexed us for decades. Remarkably, this problem has persisted in the scientific community's consciousness since the 1930s. Over the years, numerous attempts have been made to unravel this intricate puzzle, each one pushing the boundaries of our understanding. The quest to resolve this profound dilemma is a journey filled with fascinating insights and theories, which I'll delve into in more detail another time. As we draw the curtain on this captivating voyage into the heart of gravitational mysteries, 
We've glimpsed the intricacies of Einstein's general relativity and the tantalizing hints that suggest its limitations. The cosmos, it seems, still conceals many secrets, awaiting the keen minds of future explorers. If you found this journey through the cosmos as fascinating as we did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll stay connected with our ongoing quest to unlock the universe's most profound enigmas. So, until our next adventure, keep your curiosity alive, keep exploring and keep reaching for the stars. The cosmos is vast and there's so much more to discover. Thank you for joining us today and we'll see you in the next Cosmic Odyssey.